I guess he's doing another Sonic video. Today, we're going for Sonic Project Hero, and essentially, this is actually my second favorite Sonic fan game, only behind PO6. So this mod brings in a lot of the like modern mechanics and classic mechanics, and like mix it in with like new mechanics too. Like for example, here, you can go over here to the tree, and I guess a nice height. But like Sonic, you know, he has a stomp, the light speed dash, the spin dash, the drop dash. Pretty typical Sonic stuff right here. Nice mix of like adventure and modern and classic. Also, the thing too is that like when you home attack an enemy, I'll do over here. Like you keep your speed. Like it's perfect. Like, right here, it's amazing too. Like you can actually keep your speed. This fan game also has momentum too. So like here for example, it's like over here. You can see I lost speed. I had to go over here. Okay, over here. Look at that. You get a lot of height. But like Sonic Groove Control is like the best 3D Sonic game of all time. Like it's so tight, it's so responsive and just smooth. Like right here. You get a lot of speed from that. <clears throat> it's just so cool. The other thing too is that like enemies uh have their like Usually like, with most of the shields, they'll take a while to damage, so it's pretty cool. I like that. The nice added challenge here too. So you have to like, you know, defeat them in the back pretty much, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go switch to Tails, and you press F2 on your keyboard in order to activate Tails and Knuckles, and yeah, so Tails can fly. For a short period of time, obviously. And he has a tail spin too, which is pretty cool. Wish this move was in Sonic Frontiers, honestly. And then, uh, he also has bombs here too. Like here. He also, like, aimed them as well. Hold up for a good battle. Hold up for a good while. And look at that. You get to, uh, have a first person view. Okay, over here. I did too early. Let me do a little bit more here. There you go. Nice, and like, you can press X in order to activate the bombs quickly, so they're no waiting. But yeah, Tails, Tails, Knuckles has spin dash, no drop dash though, which understandable. Another thing too actually is that like uh, press A twice. Look at that, you can uh, fly faster, but it drains your uh, flight meter a lot. But yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Thing to do flight cancel, which is pretty cool. And now on to Knuckles, and Knuckles can glide, he can climb, like always. He can do the uh, the drill call right here. And he has some uh, couple moves here too. And combat here is pretty good. Like, I mean, it's basic combat, but it makes sense. Like, he can just like do this and like, he can also do the drill call here too. Both mid air and uh, down. But yeah, Knuckles is pretty good. He's solid. So you press F1 on your keyboard, check this out. Yeah, you get the uh, the rider's gear. Sonic and Tails have this too as well, which is pretty cool. But it control is just the same as riders here too. You got the rider's drift, the uh, the jump tier two. There's no tricks though, so unless actually. But like, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, but currently this project on hiatus. But uh, yep, they're working on like before we're on hiatus at um. They place the modern characters with classic characters, which I don't really mind honestly, because like I mean the move set is very classic like a bit. With the drop dash and the spin dash and stuff like that too, so it's pretty good. But hopefully like, there's an option where you can switch between modern and classic characters. That'd be nice. And oh yeah. You got your elemental shields here too. So the bubble shield, the lightning shield, and then the fire shield well too. I think it's over here. Yeah, over here. Pretty cool. Love the amount of shields, and you got your basic shield here too, and invisibility frame here too. That's nice. I'm gonna go over here actually. Right here. Oh my god, and you also like walk on water too, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go up here to see what's up here. Like, the thing is that like, Sonic should control this in a 3D environment actually too. Like, I mean, Front 2's control really well though too, but like, it's just that, it's just that like, the, it's just that like momentum is kind of missing a bit. I mean, sure, it's open zone, they're not like, you know, huge worlds to go to, but like, still, I thought like momentum is like very important for Sonic. I mean, that's what he's been at since the uh, Genesis days, pretty much. 
I'm gonna try something over here actually. So spin dash here. Also Eggman's here too, which uh, he does nothing. You can just hit him many times and just do nothing until he gets defeated actually. I guess the test of the boss is here when uh, this project is actually complete, which I don't know when. And the Goron right here too, that's nice. One last thing I'm gonna uh, show you here too is that uh, press the trigger buttons and look at that. He has supersonic. And you know, nothing too crazy about that. It's just, I mean, Sonic is more faster here too. And you know, he's invincible pretty much. And Tails and Knuckles had a two. And Tails and Knuckles and uh, Tails and Knuckles just have uh, those uh, yellow shields, similar to how in Sonic Heroes. So nothing too crazy over here too. But I mean, hey, Super Sonic's here. Oh, I forgot here too. You get the bounce brace with, which is nice. We we'll have to bounce race it a lot. But yeah, that's all for Project Hero. Very fun fan game. I recommend checking it out. Link in the description down below. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.